Hey folks, Matt here. Thanks for stopping by again. Hey, listen, I want to talk to you about um, fully automated airplanes and whether you'd want to fly on them or not. So, so the Boeing uh, CEO recently announced that there will be no new type aircraft produced by Boeing until the mid 2030s. He said this. He said that there would be a good possibility of it pending new technologies, which I interpret as pilotless airplanes. So I'm just going to ask you, would you rather keep things as is and fly on airplanes that are nearly fully automated with two pilots or have the airplane fully automated, which means it can taxi by itself, take off, land and hold and even avoid weather and all that stuff, do all those things by itself and have a pilot in the cockpit or in the passenger section just in case things go south? Or would you rather have the same airplane with no pilots on board? I would actually prefer the last choice because I don't want that single pilot completely unaccounted for, you know, not having another pilot backing him up, him or her, um, to be in that, uh, to be in control of that airplane. We've seen three suicides killing almost, what, 700 people in the last five years, Asia flight, I think two Asian flights and a that German pilot who flew into the side of the mountain um, when he was the only one inside the uh, aircraft. And the Asian pilot, there were actually two others, but he, I guess he got his legs up in there and had his feet pressing the yoke against the firewall and the plane went down. So what would you prefer? 80% um, of all aviation fatalities were caused by humans. And that's because, you know, humans were flying the whole time. So that's really not a good statistic. But I will tell you, I can think of just on the top of my head, all these aviation accidents that would not have happened had a computer been in charge. Um, that the plane that crashed uh, shortly after 9-11 um, in Queens, New York, the pilot actually kicked the rudder so hard that it broke off and they crashed. Uh, several decades ago, not several, let's say four or five decades ago, there was a uh, couple, the, the entire flight crew was distracted by a burnout light bulb and they crashed into the Everglades while they were uh, trying to diagnose this burnout light bulb. Uh, the Tenerife, the, the worst aviation accident ever, two 747s collided on the runway. That would not have happened had there been computers there. That was pilot error. Um, <clears throat> what else? Gosh, I can just... You know, if I had time on this video and I wanted to bore you, um, as a matter of fact, I might just put a link in the description of a lot of aviation accidents that were just pilot caused. Um, <clears throat> you wouldn't have a drunk pilot, that's for sure, if the computer was in charge. The only thing I would be apprehensive about is crosswind landings, like at Denver or even Dallas Fort Worth. You just cannot teach computer English and uh, you know, seat of the pants type skills that you, uh, that humans are uh, good at. <clears throat> so the bringing it in for a landing, a usual, a normal landing, no problem. But in bad weather, crosswinds, having that plane going back and forth and having it crab in and correct at the last minute to just, you know, grease it into the runway. Um, I would rather have a human do that. So there's a great, um, Great pilot who talks on YouTube all the time. It's, he, his channel is Mentor Pilot. I'm subscribed to him. I suggest you do as well. But I'll put a link in the uh, the description, and I suggest you subscribe and start uh, getting involved in the aviation uh, discussion because it's changing rapidly, and it will do so by the mid 2030s, um, as in, as implied by the Boeing CEO already. So, let me know your thoughts on keeping the things the way they are. Going down to a fully automated airplane with one pilot on the on in in the flight deck to um, make sure things are going smoothly and to inter, intervene if necessary, or to eliminate all the pilots and all their issues and have the, have the same fully automated air, automated airplane do all the work. So uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts and uh, thanks for listening. Catch you next time. Bye.